Verity's Brow, a universally underused, underappreciated, and simply one of Destiny's forgotten exotics. But what if I told you it's not actually as bad as the community may think and can produce some of the highest grenade damage output on Warlock? Now, I know there are numerous other incredible grenade builds like Starfire and Sunbraces, but I'm bored of them. Plus, Starfire is confirmed for a nerf and Sunbraces is confined to the solar subclass. Whereas Rarity's Brow can be used on all subclasses, although some provide better results than others, so let's talk about it. So Rarity's Brow, a Warlock exotic helm with the trait The Fourth Magic, stating, Weapon final blows with a damage type matching your subclass grant death throws, which provides a grenade damage bonus and grants you grenade energy. When you have death throws and throw a grenade, nearby allies gain greatly increased grenade regeneration for a short time. Breaking this down, weapon kills with a matching subclass element grant a stack of death throws for 11 seconds, with a maximum of 5 stacks. Now death throws grants 50% additional base grenade recharge and a 20% increased grenade damage per stack, meaning at a 5x stack of death throws you gain 250% grenade recharge and 100% grenade damage increase. So I did some testing, a lot of testing. I tried every single grenade on every single subclass to see what would put out the most damage with this exotic, and the results may surprise you. Although I did my own testing, some of the damage numbers are sourced from the Iron Worker gaming channel, as he manages to factor in averages and consistency rates into his damage numbers, which is essential for some of the more challenging grenades to quantify. I'm going to skip over stasis and strand, because although it does affect them, it's honestly not even worth it. For Voidwalkers, I found that magnetic grenades paired with the fragment Echo of Undermining for the weak weakening effect managed to put out the most consistently high damage. Although spike and void wall grenades do put out more damage, the numbers are based on the best case scenario, meaning whatever you're damaging cannot move or be stunlocked out of the damage field, which I'm sure you know is incredibly hard to do. So for consistency's sake, without passing up too much damage, I personally wouldn't use any other grenade on void at least. Because either others just don't put out enough damage to make it useful, or they're just too hard to set up, and yes, I'm looking at you. On Solar, I would use Fusion Nades, paired with some Scorch Enhancing Fragments. Similar to Void, there are grenades that do put out more damage, but once again, the consistency of Fusion Nades is unmatched. Whereas Thermites and Solar Grenades stunlock the boss out of its damage range, although if you're using this build on an immobile boss, I would definitely recommend swapping them around. There is no doubt that the margin of damage is very noticeable in this subclass, with Thermite and Solar Grenades putting out surprising damage. But that's a battle you're going to have to fight, consistency over damage. Now onto Arc, and personally my favourite subclass, to pair of Faraday's Brow. I run Pulse and Flux Nades depending on the activity, with Jolt, Aspects and Fragments. Because Flux Nades put out amazing instantaneous damage, whereas Pulse Nades are a damage over time but have the same flaws labelled above. Lightning Grenades also do put out the second highest damage, but like I previously stated, they are notorious for the lack of consistency. So like me, if you find your passion in the build like this, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. Putting it simply, for consistent, high, and instantaneous damage options, you can't go wrong with magnetic, fusion, and flux grenades. But for the lesser consistent, highest damage, void wall, solar, and pulse grenades are the go. I personally run arc for my build, for me it's easy to proc with some amazing and clear options, plus I get to zoom around. But keep in mind that if you have some amazing solar or void weapons you'd like to use, by all means, this build provides so much room for experimentation, allowing you to put your own twist on it. Stat-wise, obviously this is a grenade heavy build, so discipline is a must. Anywhere between 70 and 100 is perfect, and if you can't hit that 100 mark, simply just slot a font of focus and harmonic siphon, allowing you to have nearly infinite proc on the plus 30 discipline. Other than that, you're free to spec your stats however you want. For mods, I use the same set regardless of class, with 3 harmonic siphons on the helm to create heaps of orbs, a fastball, grenade kickstart, and a font of focus on the gauntlets to increase my grenade regen even more. Whatever damage resist applies to the activity I'm in on the chest, a better ready and 2 innovations on the boots to once again increase my grenade regen, and a bomber and reaper on the class item. Now there is room for change on these mods depending on your playstyle, as on the helmet you can swap out a siphon for an ammo finder, and on the gauntlets you can change the font of focus to another kickstart if you hit that 100 discipline. So I would highly recommend if you do give this build a try, don't be scared to change some things up, and who knows, maybe you'll even make a better build than what I have here. So where would this build really shine? Personally, I would say in mid to playlist level content. Because although I was running through legendless sectors, I can't see it being that usable in endgame high level content such as gems or master dungeons. As to even proc its benefits, you need to get kills, and to maintain or increase that benefit, you need to get another kill within 11 seconds. I know it doesn't seem that bad, but in that content, you're not really going to be fragging out. They're very team oriented activities, usually consisting of chipping away at enemies, not outright one shotting them, although maybe in the future this could get a buff or rework and things could change. Anyway, that's all from me. If you could approve my build in any way, please feel free to let me know. Have a lovely day. Peace!